Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this uh, series of electrical B7 BEO exam which is about uh, power uh, systems engineering and this is my second question about three phase and this question happened after the COVID and I noticed that a three phase question becomes like a standard this is my second exam I try to solve after the COVID and you have a general question about three phase that test your understanding of the three phase systems so uh, i in my opinion this is one of the easiest questions so it's very important to understand it well now in this question has two parts the first part you are asked to analyze a three phase system where you have a motor a feeder and the supply connected to that motor then you are asked to calculate several things related to this motor and this power system in the second part here you are asked to correct the power factor from 0.8 to unity and then you are asked about this uh, process of power factor uh, correction so i would say this question has almost everything that you need to know about the basics of the analysis of the balanced three phase uh, system so let's start with the first part here okay so in the first part here there's something very important i'd like to emphasize on that you say that the phase voltage van okay is uh, this is our reference and this voltage which is at the uh, at the motor side has the zero angle so that is my reference so any angle i will calculate i will use the van and of course i'm using the positive sequence the a b c and we'll see the impact of this on the requirements so we'll start with the first one here it says here find the phase current magnitude and phase angle in the b phase of the motor now since our reference is phase a we will calculate everything to phase a but then we will do the phase shift at a later stage but before that we need to find what is the input power of the motor how much electrical power is consumed by the motor and as we know that the motor as a device has p out mechanical and has p n now we are given that the motor is a 25 horsepower that is your p out so your p out of the motor is equal to 25 horsepower times basically how much watt in that so you multiply by 746 you get 18650 watt that is your output power of the motor but that's not our interest our interest is bn and we'll find that from the efficiency the efficiency of any device is p out by pn so it means that your pn is equal to your p out over the efficiency so from this your pn is basically will be equal to your output power which is 18650 divided by 0.8 five three the efficiency you will get twenty one thousand eight sixty four watt that is your pn now once i know pn i am ready to find the phase current now as you can see here that the motor is basically a y connection it means that the line current and the phase current they are exactly the same so i line equal to i phase equal to the power divided by root 3 v line times the power factor and the angle will be minus cosine inverse of the power factor so your current and you have to know that this current of phase a because this is our reference not phase b that i want to find so this is equal to 20, 21,864 divided by root 3 times 208 times the power factor 0.8 and minus cosine inverse of 0.8 and this will give me a total current equal to 75.88 angle of minus 36 
0.9 amps that is my current of phase b so my i which i want the phase current so my phase current of phase b is equal to the same magnitude because the assumption is the system is balanced but then the phase b is minus 120 phase shift from phase a and phase c is plus 120 or minus 240 from phase a this is equal to 75.88 angle of minus 156.9 amps so that is the first requirement then it says find the line to line source voltage magnitude so we don't need, we don't care here about the the angle we only care about the the magnitude okay this this is part b how to find this we will find v a n the phase voltage so basically we'll apply just simple k v l okay so basically you take this loop so this is the v a n i know the voltage at the load I know the current, I know the impedance, just a simple KVL. So your VAN, but this is the phase voltage. We want to find the line to line source voltage. Okay, so it is basically the 120 angle of zero, because we are using phase A, plus the current, which is 75.88 angle of minus 36.9, go back to phase A, times the impedance of the line, which is. 0.08 plus j.06 so this will give me 120 angle of 0 plus 75.86 actually this is 7 but this doesn't matter 7.886 doesn't really matter so this is all 86 86 86 minus 36.9 times 1 angle of plus 36.9 so this would cancel and you will find that your VAN is equal to basically the, uh, the voltage here is equal to 127.586 volt. Now I want to find the magnitude of the line voltage. Now this could be any line to line because I don't care about basically, uh, uh, I don't care about the angle. So this is root three times VAN so this will give me a total voltage approximately two to one volt and that is the requirement for part for part b now let's move to part c in part c i want to find the three phase real reactive and apparent power drawn by the motor okay so the real power we know it p we already calculate that so drawn by the motor means the input power as we discussed that before is 21,864. Now to find the other ones, the best way is to use the power triangle. This is the best way. So this is your P, this is your Q, this is your S, and this is your theta, which is the 36.9. So using the power triangle, you can find anything else. So from this, you can find your S, which is P, 21,864 divided by cosine theta or the power factor 0.8 and this will give me 27,330 volt amp. To find the Q, it is either you can say it's S times sine theta, which is basically equal to 27,330 times 0.6 sine of 36.9 and gives me 16,398, or you can say that the Q is actually equal to S squared minus P squared, this is a right triangle, and then you will find this is also 16,398 VAR. This is how we can find the power for, for all the different types of power of the motor. Then finally here, there is a conceptual question. It says here a small, but non-zero current magnitude is measured in the neutral. Now, for a pure 100% balanced system, I in the neutral will be equal to zero. 
So if there is a small current, why there is a small current? Because of the imbalance of the three phases, because of the imbalance of the Z A, Z B, and Z C of the motor. And this is makes sense because you will not find that the impedance of the three phases of the motor are 100% equal to each other there will be some slight difference and this is why we we might have a small current in the in the neutral or could be because of the imbalance in the voltage as well this could be another another reason then it's desired to correct the power factor to unity so it was 0.8 then i need to improve it to one by placing a delta connected band, so I want to place a delta connected bank of capacitors in parallel. So this is the say A, B, and C. Okay, so this is delta connected in parallel with the motor. We want to find the following. What is the three phase reactive power required by the bank? Now, to have a power factor equal to one, it means that you want to have the total Q, Q total, of the system should be equal to zero. Now we know that Q of the motor is equal to 16,398 VAR. So to make the motor or the system of the motor and the capacitor bank has a power factor equal to one, you have to cancel all of this, all provided through the capacitor. So QC has to be equal exactly QM which is 16,398 VAR. Now, says here, find the impedance of each phase. What is the impedance? Now, this is basically your, uh, your, mo your motor, okay? Now, I want to find or calculate the impedance of that, of the, sorry, of the capacitor, okay? So how to calculate the, the impedance. Now, we want to find QC per phase, which is basically 16,398 divided by three. So that is basically your uh, QC per, and this is equal to the V phase square divided by X, okay? Now, the V phase here, of the uh, capacitor is nothing but it is your it is basically uh, your uh, line voltage because this is delta so the phase voltage and the line voltage are exactly the the same okay so so basically you need to find x how to do that very simple your x is equal to the 208 square divided by the 16,398 divided by three, and this gives me 7.9 ohms. So that is basically your, your XC. Now, I want to find the capacitance in each phase, okay? So your X is equal to one over omega C, okay? So to find C, you need to divide, one divided by X, Okay, so one divided by uh, 7.9, and then divide by two, and then divide by the pi, and then basically uh, divide by 60, which is the frequency. Okay, so this will give me uh, a total. So your uh, C is equal to one over omega X, which is one over two pi 60 times 7.9, and this will give me 0 0.00033 farad, six here farad. So that is your, basically your uh, total. Uh, this is your C, your capacitance. Then find the phase current, magnitude and angle flowing from A to B. So I wanna find this current, I, A, B. Okay, now I, A, B, will equal to my VAB divided by my XAB, which is equal to 
0.208. Now, the line to line voltage leading by 30 degrees than the phase voltage. Remember, in this question, we said that at the beginning, we said that the uh, reference is the phase voltage at the load. So the line voltage will be root three times that, and there will be a 30 degree phase shift. So this is divided by this divide by 7.9. That is the magnitude, but this has an angle of minus 90 because it's a pure capacitor. So this will give me 26.33 angle of basically plus one, 120 amps. So that is an overview. I just want to say something at the end. I might I did this question in a rush. So there might be some calculations, or I'm not sure to be honest. I don't have the reference. Uh, to make sure that my answers are correct, but that is the procedure. So if you find any calculation errors, just please just write it in the comments. I will verify it and I will do the correction uh, in the video uh, description.